Good morning, people. Welcome back to another episode of The Race Against Time. Another week has gone by. Another check in his year. Just about to get in my skimpies in the studio. It's like a building site near the minute, as you can see behind me. They're having loads of work done, so we're having to dance around a load of shit on the floor to get this done, but it is what it is. So, um, 11 and a bit weeks out now. Since the last episode, I was saying about like my weight was a stone down. Uh, since then, my weight actually spiked. It went up by about three or four pounds. So as you can imagine, fried my brain. Uh, Carl was like reassuring me saying, look, the visual's better. So just you just need the weight to come down to sort your head out. So I was like, I know. So I, I had to have a little bit of a pep talk with myself last weekend and uh, say, just switch off and get robot mode, which also led me to deciding to say, I'm not putting anything more on Instagram in terms of physiques. I did put a post up last week and then I deleted it the same day just because I was feeling good about myself and then it's like one of those moments where you say felt cute, might delete later and I did delete. So I'm going to stay under wraps on social media. I mean I know YouTube is social media but I feel there's a bit more investment from people to subscribe to a YouTube channel than on Instagram where they can just click follow so I feel I owe it to show it. So I am going to show you how I look in and then I'll probably do this like every four weeks and then I'll probably get a bit more active on Instagram like showing off what's going on later on in the uh, in the prep but for now we'll have a look at uh, what's going on under uh, all these layers There we have it. That's how I'm looking currently at uh, oh, 11 and a bit weeks out. <laughs> like I know I've mentioned scale weight, but realistically, couldn't give a fuck because a level of condition has been set. There's a bar that's been set now, last year, and I need to match that. So regardless of what I end up on stage, that's what I need to get to. So uh, we're keeping like scale weight there, but the condition is the most important thing. So, 35 minutes of stairs coming up. Yes, Staymaster is fully in now. I've just had uh, finished off a scoop of Do Not Fucking Miss from Train by JP pre workout. I do take that for cardio, only a scoop, which is like two, 250 milligram of caffeine, I think. And obviously, the old uh, Clen and Yohimbine is in the mix as well. So, I doubt I'll film the cardio because it's just cardio. Everyone sees it. The one thing I will say about cardio though, people really need to be going harder at their cardio because I see people in here that say, oh, I'm doing cardio, bro, and they're just going through the motions. I am literally nearly falling off the Stairmaster because I am fucking panting. So go hard with your cardio, people. This is my spine. Yeah. So the rigidness of my back is my spine. So I'm forcing weight into the chest pattern, forcing weight forward. Oh. So, meal one. Meal one of rest day has now become meal one of every single day. And as you can see, it's eggs and green beans. Well, it's eggs and veg. My veg of choice is green beans, 150 grams. 200 egg whites and three whole eggs and I just make rather than scrambling the eggs I feel it goes down too quick I'd rather make a big old fucking fried egg with three yolks and then it just takes a little bit longer to eat but this one it doesn't even well none of my meals really touch the sides at the moment it's uh, quarter past eight now so I'll eat this and I'll probably eat another meal in about I'll probably try and last till ten 
but like I'm realistically I'm ready to eat in like 15 minutes after this so it's brutal but we've got to do these things this is prep bro no one's forcing me to do it a bit of Himalayan salt and 50% reduced ketchup so this is where we're at so I'm gonna get this down me and then I've got uh, work block number one which is like the harder work till around about 12.30, then I'm heading to the gym. Got delts and arms today, which was the the first video of this prep series. Uh, we've got obviously all the prime kit now, so we're using the prime shoulder press. Liam's training with me today, so we'll get a couple of clips of him on here. And yeah, just kind of take you through the day. A lovely day, actually. Probably the nicest day of the year. Sun's out, ground is dry. So we're gonna try and um, head to the beach later, I think, take the dog and maybe the daughter if she wants to spend time with her parents. So I'm gonna eat this, finish watching Bro Chat and crack on with some work. Pre-workout cream of rice. Attempt number two, by the way. The first one was that much water in there. It went down the drain. And usually I would have just ate it, but the fact is I'm on prep, I'm starving, and I want to eat my food. So we went again, and we still fucked it up. So I thought, I got too much shit to do here. There's work just staring at me, so I'm just going to get it done. So 100 grams cream of rice, 40 whey, vegan whey, uh, 150 berries, 20 peanut butter. I want to get into this, but I want to also talk about something quickly. Let me just have a little bite. I say bite, a little sip because it's so watery. Um, I'm feeling a bit of pressure this year, if I'm honest. To be completely transparent, truthful. Last year, obviously stepping on stage was about looking the part, fitting in. Because I knew the work that I was doing in the gym and I, I wanted to showcase that. So we did what we did. We came away with what we came away with. Fantastic. This year, I thought last year would have been like the pinnacle of pressure for me at my level. This year I'm feeling more. Because now I've set the bar in like what I brought to stage. So now I obviously I need to be better than that. Otherwise there's no point doing it. And I've been on a bit of a downer about it. We were shopping last week in Aldi and the missus was like, please wake up in a better mood tomorrow. And I was like, I'll be better when I step on the scales and I can see that it was down. This was at the point when obviously my weight, weight was up. And then the more I thought about it, I turned to her and I said, I think I know why I'm actually on a bit of a, on a neggy at the moment. And it's because of this pressure that I'm putting on myself. And that a part of the pep talk last weekend was, you know, switching off and just thinking, fuck pressure, whatever happens, happens. And I'm doing this for me. I know the work I've put in and there's not many people that can say that in the space that I've been doing this nine years, like if you say like full on for the last say four years, there's not many people that can turn around, especially the ripe old age of 39, can say they, they've done what I've done or doing what I'm doing. So it's about just beating myself from last year, but I, I am feeling a little bit of pressure, I'll be honest. Um, and those close to me will know that because I've had these conversations with them. So yeah, I thought I'd just let you know because we being honest, I mean, you see me in my pants this morning, so I might as well tell you all my thoughts in my head as well. I'm gonna eat this, crack on with some work and then get to the gym for delts and arms and we'll see what we get three two yeah right so we've loaded the middle top because we're still playing about with where the fucking plates go Come on. 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 Come on.
Still you. Dropping off lovely, come on. Yeah, here we go then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, again. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Lock. That's you. Are you eating your post-workout out of a saucepan? Yes, I am, because the bowls that I like to use are both dirty and I need to do quite a few dishes. That's why they're behind the camera and not in front. Um, I'm gonna wrap this video up here because number one, I've got a bucket load of chicken to actually prep because I'm going away for two days. And also I wanna get out with the fam and not have to worry about doing any recording or editing to get this video finished. So this is a wrap for this one. Thank you very much for watching. <clears throat> Actually, to go back to the training you just watched, me and Liam came to a conclusion after fucking about with the pegs a little bit. I said in the last episode, this is how you load it. We tried to get too technical today. I said, from now on, we're gonna go with the original plan. We load it at the bottom, if it's the first exercise, and then we go to the top for the back off. We started messing with the middle and the top. There was nothing on the bottom, because that's what JP does. Nah, nah bruv, leave it there, so back to the original plan from the last episode. So do not take any pointers from how I loaded that prime shoulder press today. Uh, but it was a nice sesh. Liam said, I look quite round, even though I feel flat as you, you know, as you do at this point, you just feel soft and flat and ugh, before like the real detail starts coming through. But um, yeah, he said I looked quite full and round. So we'll take that. Um, but thank you very much for watching. Another episode in the bag. I'm gonna eat this, cook that, go out in that. And then this weekend is the Ben Weather two bro show, which I'll be down there filming. So by the time this drops Sunday, it would have been done and dusted. Congrats to anyone that got their pro card. There's nine pro cards up for grabs. Um, 
and if you did see me yesterday because this is going to be released the day after good to see you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace